Hey Sagittarius Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Hope you all are doing amazing. Let's do a dedicated love reading for my Sagittarians. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Flip the rose if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy. Let's see what's going to happen in love for you this week. We have the King of Wands. Nice. I'm hearing someone may want to take you out, take you shopping. Could be a Leo. And then we have the Two of Wands. Someone could be asking you to go on a trip or something here. Could be an Aries. Somebody's about to take action towards you. Could be the first two days of the week. So like Monday, Tuesday. Then we have the Two of Swords here. Libra energy. And then we have the Fool. Aquarius energy. The Two of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. Which makes ten. It feels like someone is choosing you. Someone is prioritizing you this week. They want to work on something with you. They love you a lot. This could be someone asking you out on a date. I feel like they've been fantasizing about you. I'm seeing a Scorpio here. I'm seeing a Cancer, a Virgo, a Capricorn, or an Aquarius for some of you, as well as Libra, Aries, and Leo. Let's get into it. Maybe you two haven't been speaking over the last two weeks. So I'm seeing the Three of Pentacles. Someone wants to collaborate with you. This could be someone you work with. The money safe indicates riches. If shut side is toward the person, it denotes loss by speculation. Number 48. Okay, so I'm seeing a three-year relationship possibly or three-year age difference here or someone you work with showing up. Somebody that wants to cooperate with you. They've learned some kind of lesson that feels like they may be taking action towards you. And they could be doing something financial for you. I just feel like someone may be financially stable and they want to like take you out, take you shopping. What's the two of wands? The two of cups comes out again. This person loves you. They may be asking you to marry them depending on where you are in the connection. Number 19, that's the sun. Leo energy, cancer energy. Your person could be on a cancer Leo cusp. This card represents the gentleman whose fortune is being told. And all the other cards affected to a degree in accordance to their relative proximity. When a gentleman's fortune is being told, number 18 has no significance in the layout. Okay. Okay, it says it indicates riches if the shut side is toward the person and is toward this man. So this man has money. The shut side of the safe is toward him. So whoever this person is, it may they may really want to give you a gift. They may ask you to go on a trip or something here because the two of wands is travel. They can also be at a distance. I'm seeing someone making advance towards you. They're thinking long-term. They're making long-term plans with you. They're doing something very premeditated with the two of wands energy showing up here. Okay, there's a lot of foresight that's gone into something here, but I feel like maybe you two haven't been speaking. And then we have the Ace of Wands. I feel like that's going to change, though. We want a new opportunity with you. Some of you are born on the 9th, the 1st, the 19th, the 2nd, the 3rd, the 22nd. Okay, so it says here, the birds signify dire misfortune and fierce enemies when near. If far from the person with the number 7, 16, 12, or 22, a chance to avert the evil spell. So, there could be someone that's still attracted to your person or you. One of you have a karmic that's showing up here that has tried to do some kind of spell work on this relationship. But somebody is breaking that spell work. But this is the reason why something has been stuck between you and someone. You or they have a karmic ex that's doing spell work. It's backfiring now. We have the five of pentacles. It won't work. It's not going to be fruitful. The anchor denotes successful ventures in business and love. It's around about 11, 13, 29, 30, 31, or 35. It's the breach of trust near the dog, uh, fidelity of the one you love. So your person is faithful to you. Your person wants you. Yeah, Queen of Cups. You're the one that they love. Look at that ring. I feel like somebody could be getting proposed to. Okay, Cancer Energy, Taurus Energy. This could be a five-year relationship, a one-year relationship, a three-year relationship, or age difference. What's going on with this? Okay, y'all. We got the Six of Pentacles. Yes, this is equal give and take and reciprocity. It could be a six-year age difference or relationship. Someone could be born on the second. I already said that. You have a lot of number twos here. This is partnership. Clover. Flowers surrounded in clover leaf mean happiness surmounted over grief. Bits of luck and fortune await. You have the potential to make life great. Yep. You and your person have some kind of unbreakable bond. But there is karmic people on your side their side maybe even both somebody who feels like they're on the outside looking in they are pissed well you know what you gonna do about that we have mice 
The robber mice take your treasure. Inside the house, they steal with pleasure. Hope's not for gone when this card is near. Once the mice are gone, you regain, you regain what is dear. Number 23. See, this is the mice. They can have other people helping them with this. And for some of you, this is a Leo. This is the Seven of Wands. And Spirit is telling you, you have to fight for and protect your union. Or your person has to. Whoever got the mess going on, they have to safeguard their partner. Because the Seven of Wands talks about standing your ground. Not backing down. Fighting for what you have built. Worked so hard to build. You know? I feel like somebody in your past or your person's past never thought that they would move on. Or you will move on. What's the two of swords with the ace of wands? The house. I feel like this is the king of cups and the emperor. Okay, the number four could be significant. A stately house beyond the gate. Bestow stability upon your fate. And love and play your chance to win depends on how you first begin. Yeah, and it feels like the king of cups and you do have the queen of cups here. I do feel like a proposal if you're not already married. Uh, for some of you, there has been someone meddling in your connection. I'm seeing a fresh new start for you and your person, though. The ring. Can't make it up. Ring to the right, your love is alive. It will ever be bright and continue to thrive. Ring to the left and troubles bring. I'm sorry, troubles begin. Your heart will be cleft and filled with chagrin. I feel like somebody is so pissed because you're getting this ring. For some of you, it's a Libra. It's their ex-wife or ex, I don't know, baby mama or something here. Yep, let's get some advice and close this out for my Sagittarians. Advice for Sagittarius, just two pieces of advice. This one and this one. Uh-oh, I got three. I guess I got to take all three. Okay, Sagittarius, what's going on here? I'm seeing somebody buy a really nice house. We have released. Mm -hmm. Someone has been released and they ain't too happy about it. And then we have lies. So I do feel like with the, the mice coming out, you have to watch out for people like doing this person's dirty work, maybe carrying tales to you to try to separate you from your person. Just watch out for that. And then we have justice, but karma is here, baby. Justice. So you're going to get exactly what you deserve, and they're going to get exactly what they deserve. <laughs> okay, poetic justice here. Poetic justice, okay? I love it. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all. Um, what's today? Today? Okay. So I'm going to post this most likely Sunday night going into Monday morning. So I guess I will see you all what will technically be tomorrow, Tuesday. It may not be Tuesday. It could be Wednesday because I do have to create content for my other tarot channel because it's been a while. And I want to do a pick a card reading for that channel. So if you're not subscribed, you can go... And um, subscribe to Messages and Music Tarot. That's my other channel. It is linked if you click on my profile picture at my other channel. Look at my other channel and you'll see it. Because I'm probably going to post there next. Okay, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll see you all next time. Peace.